We're in December. That can mean one thing. Time has selected its person of the year. Yeah, for nearly 100 years, time has chosen a person, group, or even idea that has done the most to influence the world for better or for worse. This year, the magazine has given the award to Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky. Joining us now on set here for more insight into this decision is Time CEO and Editor-in-Chief Edward Felsenthal. Good to have you with us. Uh, I mean, first of all, just tell us, you know, how you got to this decision. What is it that stood out about Zelensky? Yeah. I feel like... This might have been the most obvious choice, yeah. but I know there's always debate, right? Well, we, we always debate. We get together, the, all of our journalists around the world in the early fall, mm -hmm. and we just, it's, it's an incredible opportunity through a bunch of lenses to talk about the year, reflect on who shaped it, who changed it. It's actually uh, not an award. It's, it's, um, it's a designation for the, the person, or sometimes it's an object that most influenced events through the years. Sometimes that's for good, sometimes that's for ill, sometimes it's in the, in the middle. But uh, we, we have this conversation that kicks off, and then we narrow it down, and, um, and then we make a call. Um, I, I do think this was, uh, to your point, uh, it's, it's certainly the most clear cut in, mm. in memory in that um, Zelensky galvanized the world in a way that we haven't seen in decades. You know, you can look at the story of Ukraine with a sense of hope or a sense of fear, but, but he really uh, changed the dynamic of the year, uh, rallying support all across the world, governments, businesses, and also people uh, that embody the spirit of Ukraine who came together around this cause. Uh, um, with all kinds of support. Absolutely. I know also time actually, you know, shadowed this sort of profile of Zelensky for this honor. Tell us what you learned and, and also how does he feel about it? Well, you know, he, he, he's a former entertainer mm -hmm. and I think he understood and understands that in the digital age, attention is maybe the most valuable currency there is. And he, he used it all year to masterful effect. I mean, from the first hours after the invasion, mm. Instagram posts, speeches to parliaments, to the World Bank, to the Grammy Awards. So I think that is, and we've seen that in recent years. You know, we, we named Greta Thunberg a few years ago, incredible use of digital tools. We named Elon Musk, and we're seeing that play out this year. And I think Zelensky really understands that the weapons of communications in the information age are as powerful as missiles. Yeah. What we've seen from President Zelensky this year really is just a reflection of the Ukrainian people as a whole. Isn't that right? Well, there is this amazing... The two are deeply interconnected. Yeah. And um, he... A lot of people thought, and there were even, you know, potential preparations to get him out of there. But he wasn't going to move, and he stayed. And that... Uh, you know, we spoke to people from opposition parties in Ukraine and... and uh, everybody rallied around him, regardless of political point of view, because he stayed put. And this courage, you know, he really showed that courage can be contagious. And, and you saw that in the spirit of Ukraine, both from people inside the country and outside who came in to help in extraordinary ways. Yeah, he defiantly stayed put. I mean, you remember him posting those videos from right in the center of the city saying, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. It was pretty incredible. Um, I also know you have this category, Heroes of the Year. Who, who took that this year? This is something we've, we've started the last few years. And this year we recognize the women of Iran who mm. came together uh, again, a story of amazing courage and have sparked the most sustained uprising in Iran in over 40 years. A lot of courage around the globe this year. So many yeah, people to honor for standing up. Images, All right. yeah. Edward Felsenthal, thank you so much for joining us. And Time's Person of the Year issue goes on sale Friday, December 16th. But you can read the full story right now on time.com. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.